Now, I am joined by royal photographer Arthur Edwards, who was taking photos, of course, but from a very unusual location, a fake pillar at the funeral of Prince Philip. And he joins me now. Arthur, so good to see you. And of course, you've given us a, a window into the royal family for a very, very long time. And there you were. Now, apparently this was all organised by Prince Philip, though, your location. Well, we, we assume because he organised the, uh, the whole of the funeral arrangements. And there's never been a position by the West Door in a hide before. And he was a very keen bird watcher and built several hides up at Sandringham, so I figured it must have been Isaac's idea, yeah. It's extraordinary. You had your own that. little hiding place and probably one of the best views that, that anybody had. I mean, you were so close to them. That's right, but I did panic a few minutes before uh, the coffin arrived because the, all the soldiers arrived to stand in front of me, but fortunately I had this perfect gap of about five yards where I could get the pictures that mattered. So, Arthur, how long were you in there for? And, and it doesn't look that big. I mean, it couldn't have been all that. I know you, you suffer for your art, of course, but it can't have been all that comfy. No, it wasn't too bad. I mean, the Palace, Palace Press Office did actually push the boat out for me. They provided me with a packed lunch and a beautiful, soft, big, puffy, soft cushion with a, with a crown on it to sit on. And, uh, and it went pretty quickly. You know, there was, there was troop movement, martial music being played, and... And the three hours went like, I was in there three hours, it went like lightning. And, uh, and of course, you know, it was, but getting that position could also be a career ending movement. I mean, if you started sneezing as they were walking up the steps or dropped the lens or, God forbid, fell off the ladder, I mean, it would be, uh, be the end. I think it'd be the last uh, pool position you'd ever get. You would never do that. The ultimate pro, never, the absolute no. ultimate pro. <laughs> but of course, as I said, ringside seat, you saw everybody coming in and there was something that you said, which, which I thought was absolutely lovely, when those images of the Queen on her own. And, um, and you said, well, there's, there's nobody now to call her by her nickname, which was Lilybet. And Prince Philip used to call her Cabbage as well. And there's nobody to do That's that right, now. Yeah. She's, she's very much on That's her own. Right. She has. She's lost all those close members, the Queen Mother, of course, her sister, now a, a lovely husband. And, uh, and, you know, she's reflecting on all that, of course, and um, what, what to do in the future. And that, But, you know, um, people were saying to me, well, will she quit? I don't think she will. I think she'll carry on. She'll need help now. I mean, she's very frail. And, uh, and you know, 95 is a fine age to still be fit, but... Um, you know, she's got to take it a little easier. And I think, as Russell said earlier, you know, the uh, Prince of Wales will, will take the heavy load now. Absolutely. And talking about the Prince of Wales, you were able to see he really was, as you would expect, he's, you know, he's, his father has died, he's at his father's funeral. But you don't normally see the royals showing, they try not to show that much emotion, certainly the older members, but he was absolutely devastated, wasn't he? He was, yeah, he was. I mean... Um, can you imagine that conversation at the hospital three weeks before um, when he was summoned by the by Prince Philip to come and there must have been uh, a lot of plain speaking there and what he's what, what he was expected to do the arrangements for the funeral I think you know he was uh, on the last leg and uh, he was briefing his son this is what you better do son and um, and you know and of course it was all going through his head and it must have been really bad for him but not only him but um, of course, Andrew and Edward and Anne, you know, I mean, he's been a fine father. He's been an amazing father. And, uh, you know, I always said the Queen has been uh, head of state, but Philip was always head of that household mm -hmm. and made all the big decisions. And uh, and they've, they've reflected, of course, on him. And uh, yeah, it's like when you bury your father, I buried my father. And it was, it was you know, it's, a, it's not, a, not a pleasant day. And uh, and I think they got through it. But, you know, the best out of it was William and Harry talking again because you know that that feud has got to stop. I mean, it's just got to stop. It's stupid. That it's carrying on just too long now. You need to bash their heads together, Arthur. They're almost like your second family in a way because you know you you have followed them. I mean, you followed William and Harry since they were babies, tiny, tiny babies, and of course they all know who you are and they they trust you. There's a there's definitely a trust there. Well, they've been. I mean, certainly the Prince of Wales is, you know, he started, that's where I started doing my pictures of him. And he's been absolutely my hero, you know, because he's not only um, been uh, tremendous to work with, but he's been very supportive as well. And, 
to me, I mean, and, and some personally, personal things he's done for me, which has been quite amazing. But of course, you know, meeting the Queen, it's awesome. I mean, you showed that picture. I mean, you know, you, you think you've done it all until you meet the Queen and then you just realise you've uh, got to raise your real game, really that just that bit more. Absolutely. Arthur, thank you so much for, for joining us this morning. I really appreciate it. And for giving us that insight, that extraordinary insight. Thank you so much. Always good to talk it's to you. It's a pleasure, Lorraine. Thank always you. A, always a pleasure to talk to you, Lorraine. Oh, thank you, Arthur. Was it, wasn't that remarkable, though, Russell, that there he is in a pillar? <laughs> you know, look at As you said, suffers for his art. And it sure it's does. Some of the most extraordinary photos taken on the day are from Arthur. So, uh, you know I mean? I've just got this right. vision of him now sitting there, you know, on his, <laughs> on his posh cushion, eating his lunch and making sure that he's got the perfect But three photo. hours. For I mean, three hours. Patron. Absolutely. Quite remarkable, quite remarkable. Thank you, Thank Russell. You. It's always good to talk to you too. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.